Good morning, folks, and welcome along to this HIT workout with myself. My name's Dave Cross, and I'm the program manager and master trainer for Pure Gym. Now, today's workout is high-intensity interval training focused, and if you're anything like me over the last few weeks, maybe months, uh, you've indulged a little bit around that Christmas time, and so now is the perfect time, if you haven't already started with these workouts, to jump into the high-calorie burning workouts. So this one's gonna do exactly that, and it's purely body weight based. So you don't need any equipment like I mentioned on Instagram earlier. Now, the basis around this particular workout is absolutely fantastic. The actual main component of the session is 20 minutes, but I'm gonna keep you for 30 minutes because we need to, of course, get warm, and we, of course, need to have good recoveries in between our working blocks and a little chance to stretch at the end. But in each of our working blocks, we're actually gonna have three working blocks. Each block will consist of eight exercises. So if you've done any of the sweat workouts previously, there's some similarities, but the similarities are simply gonna end there with eight moves. What you're gonna do is you're always gonna have a work to rest ratio. And those ratios are actually going to reduce as we progress through the blocks. So all I need to tell you is in block one, we're gonna work hard for 40 seconds and then have a 30 second rest. In block two, it'll be a 30 second work to 20 second rest and then 20, 10 for our third and final working block. You know, I don't expect you to remember all of that, but what I do expect you to do is follow the guidance, the coaching that I give you through all the movements, but also pay real close attention to any modifications that you might need to take. If you've got any injuries or anything like that at all, or you just feel like, you know what, this is gassing you out a little bit, it's supposed to, so don't worry. And it's gonna gas me out as well. You'll notice that I'll stop and coach a little bit from time to time and that's all good right we need to get through it so without any further ado we need to make sure that we get ourselves warm first so if you're ready you've cleared some space you've got water you've got a sweat towel somewhere mine's over there i'll grab it in a minute and then we are good to go ready oh yes oh yes i'm sure you are right up goes the volume a wee bit yes all right Time as a setup. Now our warm up is actually going to be a component of all of the movements that you're going to see. So it's mentally and physically preparing our bodies. Let's start with the jog. So it's nice and light on the toes. We'll spend about 25, 30 seconds within each movement so that you can become familiar with it for the rest of the session. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good today. Got the heating on again. <laughs> I'm probably going to complain soon. So the heels can come to the butt. Lift your chest and brace your abs. Now take a backward stepping lunge, alternating legs. And you can do this in your own speed. But the priority is to start to lift the heart rate and get the muscles of the entire body moving and working. So it's a long stride, focusing on a lifted posture at the same time. Now do a few more reps before we come down to the floor. And that's how this workout's gonna work as well. You're gonna go from standing to ground work. So come to the ground now. Knees down, hands wide. And it's a simple push-up at your own pace. If you can, roughly down, up. Down, up, chest to elbow height. Yep. Now what does that mean, chest to elbow height? Go low so that the chest falls in line with the elbow crease. A few more. And anytime you need to, you could always walk the knees closer to your hands to help the chest get down. Okay, do this. Hands under shoulders, up to a slow mountain climber. Go knee, tap, knee, tap. So the knee comes under the chest. But you're still tapping the floor with the toes. Your abs are braced, your back stays long, strong and straight. And focus on that length in your back the entire time, keeping real good stability. Last one, on your feet, squat, down up. So it's a good drop in the hips and a lift in the chest. Shoulders are pinned back and we're trying to sink down more than bow forwards. So we're trying to bend at the knees heaps. Next time you see this move, we'll add a little jump to it, but that's in the main sequence. Let's get you warm first, shall we? 
Last one. Come back down to the ground. So we're going to go back into the plank position, so hands under shoulders. Come onto your toes and just try this. Jack your feet out in. Now, if that's too much right now, single toe tap. And that should feel pretty good. Again, you could be on your knees and you can still tap the alternating foot out to the side. Four more. Okay, come up to your feet. Back to the jog this time, heels to butt. Pick them right up and actually kick your own backside. Kick it into gear. <laughs> All right, not much longer here before we move into a skater. So some lateral movements are great to change direction when you're training. Try this, just a light skate. Side to side, heart rate's lifted. Oh, <laughs> should we start a session? Start a session, mixed cardio? I'll do it, mixed cardio. If you prefer, stay closer to the floor and tap the toe down. Whew. Almost there. Beautiful. All right, stop. Come back down to the ground one more time. Hands under shoulders again. Come onto your toes and turn your body to lift the elbow. Switch. Again, at your own time, at your own pace. But notice my feet are rotating onto the inside and outside of the foot as you turn the body. You can do this on your knees. You'll just have to go a little slower, but that'll mean that you get great precision in the exercise. Four, three, to your feet. Jog. Are you warm? I know I am. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, wow, we're nearly five minutes in. <laughs> All right, relax. I'm definitely warm. Quick sip, and we're ready to start our session. So, in comes the juicy stuff. Ew. So we've got 40 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest. I'll briefly talk you through the first movement first, and then we're going to go straight through. But there should also be some familiarity with what we've just done in the warm-up. So exercise one is eight high knee runs. So you're going to count each foot down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, followed by four jump lunges. If the jumps aren't for you, take a step back. You ready? Let's go. 10 seconds. I wish you all the best. <laughs> all right, we are nearly six minutes in. Eight high knee runs, go. Four jump lunges. Eight high knee runs. So you're basically trying to complete that circuit as many times as you can in 40 seconds. You could, of course, keep the feet lower and then step back into the lunge if it gets you through the movement for longer. What are we at? 15 seconds. Eight and four, remember, team? Eight and four. Longest 40 seconds in the world. <laughs> okay, exercise two. So we've got a 30 second rest. Breathe, and let's move into our first upper body core training movement. So your hands are gonna go wide. Knees or toes. We're focusing on great depth in a push-up, followed by one knee drive. One push-up, opposite knee drive. Knees or toes, 40 seconds. Whew. Let's go. So your hands are wide enough to allow your chest to get close to the floor. If they're too narrow, that might put a little too much tension in the triceps right now. But don't go too wide, otherwise the shoulders take over. So go somewhere in the middle. You can do the push-ups on your knees. You can take the knee wide if you prefer. Just over 10 seconds. 
keeping range really strong. Five seconds. Keep going, team. Breathe. Ooh. Heating is definitely on. <laughs> okay, back onto your feet. A squat. But it's one squat followed by a squat jump. One squat, one squat jump. With minimal rest in between all of those moves. But if you prefer, stay with a full range squat and a pulse squat if you don't like the impact. One on one, go. One, jump. One, jump. Now notice I'm hitting my first squat as soon as I land after the jump. Down, up, down, jump. Down, up, down, jump. Another thing to notice, arms. What are we doing with the arms? You can throw them down as you jump up to help you squeeze the back or reach in the air. Just a little, just don't touch your ceiling. Watch those light fixtures. <laughs> Five seconds. Rest. Good. Down to the ground. Still quite dominating for the shoulders, but we're gonna hit the plank jack, what we did in the warm up with your feet. And I'm also gonna integrate, if you're feeling good, a shoulder tap. So the feet go out and in, but as the feet go out, hand taps opposite shoulder, out and in. You choose, do it with or without the tap. Go. Oh, can you do it on the beat? Bah, bah. Or just the tap of the shoulder, or just the jack of the feet. Whatever's gonna get you through, all right? Hands screw into the floor, and if you're on your knees, tap one, tap two, tap three, tap four. Can you keep your hips and your shoulders really level with the ground? Just over five seconds. Nice. Hold on. I'll grab my towel in a minute. It's the only problem with no one else here. No one can throw me my towel. All right. Eight. Butt kick run. Eight, seven, six, five. Followed by four skaters. Right, left, right, left. Eight and four. Six, seven, eight, and then leap four times. Go. On the butt kick, try to peel the heel all the way up to the hips, but point your knees down to the floor. On the skater, land wide, but if you've not got much space, shorter, faster reps. The hamstrings are working as you peel the heel up. The adductors and abductors inside and outside of the thighs, they're gripping you into the floor if you go wider. Guess where? <laughs> yeah, to the floor. This time, lie on your back. We've got a triple C crunch. So check it out. You're gonna hit three, two, one, then drop down, three, two, one, hip bridge. Three crunch, three bridge. Oh. Go. Each movement is a pulse. That means we stay in that top pocket of the exercise for just a little longer, which is a great thing to do when you're doing body weight training because it just provides a little more time and attention. So if you've not got any weights, you slow the movement down, or you spend more time in those real golden parts of the exercise. This is how much I'm talking to try to put me off the movement. <laughs> awesome. You're almost there. Quick sip. Oh, 20 seconds. Now, 
a 90 degree squat jump tap. So it looks like this. Turn to the corner, tap in, turn to the corner. So it's 90 degrees. Chest turns, one corner, then the other corner. 40 seconds. Go. And it's quite bouncy. And I want you to focus on this. Low, high, low, high. So you're gonna land low and wide, then jump up onto the balls of your feet. So it almost propels you up, then land back down. Or grounded and just turn to the corner with no jumping. You choose. Hands on thighs or not. 10 seconds. Oh, the heat. Oh, the heat. <laughs> Stay in your box, Dave. Oh. One more movement, and that'll be your eight exercises. So we come down to the floor. Four mountain climbers. Right, left, right, left is your four. You'll go one, two, three, four. Then turn one, turn two. We did those in the warm-up. Then you've got some time to rest. And I've got some time to grab my towel. Climber, four, three, two, one. One turn, second turn, go. On the mountain climber, try to keep your head and your shoulders really still. And I've said this a few times. If you're casting a shadow on the floor, during the climbers, keep your head and your shoulders dead still. That's proof that you're bracing your abs. One more time through. Ah, time. Well done. Well done. Now the next beeper you'll hear will be the end of block one. Whoo. Breathe, sip. Don't gulp, sip. Why? Priority is oxygen right now. And unless you're a fish, you can't breathe water. <laughs> All right, there's your full rest right there. <laughs> what do I need? Let's pause that. I need my towel. So far, so good, team. So we are, ooh, well, we're just gone quarter past, close to 20 past. Already flying, but now the fantastic thing is we know the exercises, there or thereabouts. But what happens now is we reduce the time in both the work and the rest phase. So we've just done 40, 30. We're now gonna do 30, 20. So let me make that change to my timers. Put the music back on, don't you? Of course you do. Keep moving. Ah, so the same exercises. It allows you to not focus on what you're doing and focus on what you're doing. <laughs> I made sense out of that. You've not got to think about the move. You've just got to do the move. But think about how you can get the most out of it. That's what I meant. Ah, thank you, Tao. <sighs> If anyone out there wants to come along and just stay away and just throw me the towel every now and again, that'd be great. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. I'll give you a 10 second countdown and we are getting back into it. 30, 20, eight, high knee run and four jump lunges. Go. Complete each rep before you start the next. The lunge, split your legs so they're long, so you get close to the floor. We want great range and great speed. Oh, good. To the floor. This is a bit of a jolly tune, isn't it? So it was less work, but less rest. Hands wide, push up, knee drive. 
plant them. Elbows about 45 degrees to the back. Go. And look at that. With the knowledge that you're training for less time, might give you the incentive to go faster as long as your range does not reduce. And if it does, that's awesome because we're fatiguing, but drop the knees for the push-up. Come on, five seconds. Well done. Back up to your feet. Oh my word. <laughs> squat, squat jump. Five seconds. <sighs> quick, quick and up. Quick, quick up. You choose what you're doing with the arms. But try the first squat is the deep squat. The second just gets you to jump. Or squat pulse. One, one, two. You choose. Quick sip, back down to the ground. How? Five seconds. Plank jack with a tap. With or without. Does anyone else find that when you're doing these moves, you kind of hold your breath for a bit? Yeah, don't do that. It's not good for you. Now stay consistent for the next 10 seconds. Brace belly. Five seconds. That's a killer, isn't it? To your feet. Butt kick. Skater. Eight and four. Heels to butt. Eight. Four skate. Ah. It's like that second move is different to the first to allow you to keep going. Point the knees down, 10 seconds. Remember you can tap, you can jog, you can march. Anything you need to do to keep you in the game. Oh, everything feels heavier after Christmas, doesn't it? Oh well, we're here, we're doing it. Triple C crunch, triple bridge. I quite like this one, <laughs> mainly because you actually get to perform well without gassing out too much in your heart and your lungs. But that's why I put this movement together with the rest of the workout so that you can keep training. And if you've got an activity tracker, those active calories will start really clocking up. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Nearly 25 past. 90 degree squat jump with a tap or step. I'm not asking you to jump high. I'm actually gonna ask you to move your feet fast. So split wide, narrow, wide, narrow. But we're still trying to plant and land low. 10 seconds. Ah. Ah. Come on, hold on, hold on. Five. One more round. He says, yeah. <laughs> four. Four mountain climber, two elbow lifts. Five seconds. 
four and two. <laughs> nope. Two, three, four. Turn, turn. Now don't rush the rotation. Do it well. And this is your only chance really to squeeze your upper back. So when you lift those elbows, open your chest wide. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and be really proud in your posture. That was the bit where I meant I'll stop and coach you. <laughs> ah. Ah. Next beeps you'll hear will be that point where you get a further minute rest. Ah. Well done. Now you're getting to really know the moves now, aren't you? And where are we? Oh, thankfully, so we're about 20, just after 25 past. This last block, we shave off another 10 from the work and another 10 from the rest. So it's only going down to 2010. Thankfully, we've only got four more minutes of training left within those blocks. Not thankfully, <laughs> we've only got 10 seconds rest in between each move. Breathe. Again, sip. Do whatever you need to do. Apart from pausing. Don't pause. Just do what you need to do to recover so we all start together on this last block. 25 seconds. And that's just guessing. Changing the timer to 2010. One last blowout before your next one. <sighs> All right, 2010. Starting with your eight high knee runs. <sighs> Ready to roll. Absolutely, 10 seconds. Eight moves, 20 seconds of work. Eight high knee run, four lunge. How many can you get done? Stay tall in the lunge. Five seconds. Move quick. Up. Ah. Floor. Push up knee drive. Ah. There he goes. Breathe. You can hear me breathing. I want to hear you breathing all the way from your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom. <laughs> Bit weird. <sighs> squat, squat jump. First squat's deep. Second squat's quick. Come on, hold on. Oh. Plank jack with or without those taps. If it's pinning your shoulders too much, drop to the knees. Just tap so you relieve the arm a little. 10 seconds. Oh. Come on, come on. Ah. Ooh. Butt kick, skate. Eight, four. Six seconds. Ah. On your back. You're almost there, team. Ah. <laughs> Crunch. Go.
90 degree squat jump with a tap. Last two moves. Come on, so close. And then a really short stretch before you're on your way. Cause it's half past 10. Oh no. <laughs> Last move, four climbers, two elbow lifts. We've got this team. Feel free to go a little quicker. It's your last 15 seconds. Come on, hang in there. This will be your last one. Boom. Ah, awesome, awesome. Time. Superb effort, honestly. Superb effort, I'm assuming. <laughs> Do me a favor, if you want. If you're willing, next time you sat down on your phone watching this, do it with us. Jump up, do it with us. At least you maybe have watched it to learn the moves. Now you know the moves. Do it with us next time. Real quick stretch before I let you go. Hands on the floor, sit your hips back. Heart's pumping a lot of blood around the body, but we won't keep you for long. And you might want to have a little walk around the room. Maybe a little walk outside is your daily bit of exercise. On top of this, <sighs> come forward and lower the hips and lift your chest. So we've done a lot of prone movements. So the chest and the shoulders are taking a bit of work, but the core's taking a lot as well. Sit back, slowly come to your feet. Open out your arms, stretch your chest. <sighs> Tough going. Tough going, but so, so good to get done. And if you did this live with me, then thanks for this morning joining me. If you're doing it later on, hey, good on you. Well done, reach forward, quick stretch for the upper back. Shake out those legs, maybe keep marching a little. And that is your hit workout from myself, Dave, job done. Thanks for joining me yet again. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next workout. Awesome job.